Hero of Justice or Terrorism, you decide. Nick C. <laughs> Game one's gonna be on PS2. This is a classic NYC bout. And to see these guys slaughter each other in fast motion is part of the course, I feel like, this route. Yeah, for sure. And Nick's one of those guys, you don't get to see him come out to the weeklies too often, but when he does, he always makes a splash. He's one of the best players, obviously, in the uh, region of New York City for a reason. He had quite the path to get here, I think fighting one of his first non palatinas uh, of the day. So we shall see. He's got quite the test in Venia ahead of him. Easily one of the best, uh, you know, top Greninja and uh, top player in New York as well. Well, Nixie has been making a name for himself, having traveled a good amount during the uh, summer and fall. Venia has been furthering his New York dynasty by having a near stranglehold on both the city and Long Island as of late, attending down near every local that we have. So both these guys are no slouches in proving their worth as players. Ooh. But it's going to be Nick who's breaking first blood. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting dynamic between both these guys. Venny is a player who prides himself on his movement, not having, staying stagnant in shield, constantly keeping the pressure on. Against a player like Nick, who, uh, you know, it's kind of the same vein. He loves to hold forward, you know, get his pressure on. And, you know, it's, it's basically, there is no uh, unstoppable force here. It's just two immovable objects running at each other. Yeah, man, these, these boys are just going to redline on each other the whole way through. So I'm expecting a fun set, no matter how it ends out. And that's going to be a big thing for Nick, too, being able to, you know, use that Falcon Dive uh, out of shield. Uh, again, it's just free damage. Just l look at that. It's so good, especially against a character like Greninja, who loves to kind of stay on top of you at that, like, 45-degree angle. Oh, Venio loves to fight up close and personal. Oh! Great call out on the release of shield. Just charge that up smash. Both hits connect. Nick already got Venia down to his last life. And that uh, down tilt won't go missed uh, by Venia. Nice use of the Shadow Sneak right there to at least buy himself some time getting back to the ledge. I appreciate that Nick is trying to space things out with Nair 1 and forward tilt while retreating. Just trying to occupy some space, keep Venia in check, but now he's got Venia waiting a little patiently. Ooh! Venia not faltering from up smash, missing itself out. Let's see, what's the kill? He actually went in with back air. Very rare for Venia not just to sit back and let Hydro Pump do the work. I feel like that's one of the times it would have worked out. But finally keeping Nick in check. We're right on back to a tie game immediately, Koopa. Yeah, great job you know, reacting to the Falcon kick and just walking very slowly to the right and forward smashing accordingly. So let's see what the answer is going to be for both these guys. Nixie with a slight lead. He's got to do something with that lead because having the percentage lead on Venia doesn't really mean anything unless his numbers are beat red. Because he can catch that all up in one good string, or if he manages to force you into a situation where you're, you don't have good landing options. Yeah, both these characters' advantage states are absolutely insane. As you can see right here, Venia going for the aggressive landing option, continuing to keep the string on Nixie. That last hit of the back air uh, coming out uh, and almost getting the read with the forward smash, but just a, a little quick on the, his own draw. All right, down throw sets up, and once no again, way. up smash. Yo, even Venio is confused, <laughs> Nick. Oh, you see, this is exactly why I said he's a terrorist. All right, Nick, he's out of here. Bro. Go off, King. First hit did enough shield damage to allow him to shield poke with the second one, which hit in a completely different area. So... Come on, bro! Are you Yo, kidding? honestly, I'm with Greninja. I'm with Greninja on that one. Eyes wide open trying to figure out what just hit me. Bro. I can't believe that. <laughs> I've seen Nick baptize people on the platforms like far too many times, both today and in my lifetime. So, Benny having none of that, he's like, "All right, we're gonna go to final destination. We're gonna keep things. Uh, you know, you know, we're gonna keep things even for the both of us." So, is it even? Ooh. Is it really an even match? No, no, it is not. If you <laughs> if a frog dies in space and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, we're definitely here. It is. That's one big crow thing. The stock immediately evaporated from Benny. As you let Nick go right to the ledge while he was an advantage. How, how are you going to do that? I, you know what, man? Your guess is as good as mine. Captain Falcon, he's just such, he's always been such an explosive character, Hangman. And, you know, Nixie just embodying that. You know, once he's able, he gets those hits, whether it be you know, the side beer or the first hit in air, he's just so good at converting. But the same can be said for Venia. He's so good at just taking that initial hit, whatever it may be, the dash attack or the down tilt, and being able to carry it for as long as he humanly can. When Venia is in control of a situation, it truly is art in motion. Ooh. The way he knows exactly how to call out any move and trace his opponents from side to side of a stage is always 
a wonder to see. Yeah, great job with the forwarder uh, taking that stock from Nick. Okay, you see the reverse hit him there coming through. All right, just check him every time he's going to be able to. <laughs> It's just buttons all over the place, bro. For real, man. But, like, they're smart about it, too, and they're playing on so many levels of I know that you know that I know that you know. It's like, why would you up to there? Why would you down there there? It's because these, these guys have fought each other so many times. They have so much respect for each other's play that they know exactly what they can get away with. Oh, yeah, it, it's in their blood for sure. Ooh, the drag down up air oh, into the forward smash. Oh, Goodbye, what? sir, says Vania. And so now Venia finds himself in the driver's seat right now. Let's see what the response is going to be uh, from Nick. All right. I like it. It basically went unpunished. Very rare for uh, Venia to not take a free combo opportunity. Yeah, and also one of the few times that Nick has whiffed with the Falcon Dive uh, in an up-close situation. Ooh, he's really just going for it all. Yeah, there we go. Falcon's disadvantage state. You know, so rough for the character, man. It's not a fun time for him. He has very few landing options, and of course on Final Destination, that's a problem that's further exacerbated. Yeah, tag kind of that on with the fact that... Oh. <laughs> Yikes! Venia, when he's in control and forcing you to make decisions landing, the noose tightens on you. That's just how it goes. Yeah, that's definitely some protein Greninja, if I've <laughs> ever seen one. My man's is definitely battle bonded. <laughs> like, you see that tattoo on Venia? He shares that with Greninja. <laughs> it's basically Greninja's scarf tongue. Remember when we? Remember when everybody thought that was fake? It's like there's no way that's what he looks like. Mm. That's uh, crazy too. He's. Yeah. We'll yeah. talk about that later. Yeah, we're not. We're not here to talk about leaks. Uh, no, these pipes are nice and sturdy here. Yeah, absolutely. Actually. As the game counts, this one one. This. This is a paradise for Nick. Small stage that he's able to navigate extremely fast, able to combo across violently. What more could you want as a Falcon player? Yeah, and having that platform in the middle of the stage is going to be great in regards to kind of, you know, making Venia think uh, a little bit uh, more carefully about his combos. It's going to give him some coverage above him because Greninja loves oh. to approach him. Oh, there. no! Oh, Lord! That was a horrid connection! All right, Nick. You don't, you don't gotta go off like that. Your moves, show them to me. <laughs> All right, it's, it's Venia's turn to dance, and it's gonna bring himself immediately down with a down air. I appreciate the call out, especially because you can get so much during those middling percentages. But going for hard calls on Nick like that is so hard when he's running with the lead like that. Ooh, that uh, substitute is only gonna get punished with the up air, so Venia definitely counting his blessings. That could have been way worse, but the down tilt to the forward air, cleaning up that stock. Yeah, Venia is well aware of the living nightmare that is getting air wobbled by Falcon. He doesn't want to be a part of any of that. He's trying to take control of the show. Oh yeah, I don't want any of that smoke. Not at all. Oh, cute drag down. Just not getting anything properly followed up. But Venia is staying in charge of the percentage for the time being. What's he going to be able to do with it? Yeah, again, just continue to carry his advantage. Oh. Say great read on the air dodge and the back air, which continues to be nice. Uh, we'll take that stock. The aerial... <laughs> Aerial air dodge, a neutral air dodge especially on Benny, has such a raw call because he has, he's so patient. You would think for someone playing so fast, pressing so many buttons, that he wouldn't be as aware of a player, but he's incredibly patient, waits for that option, and knows exactly how to blow up any character in the cast with Greninja's tools on the scene. No, absolutely. Once again, Vinny is continuing to stay loose with his movement right now, not giving Nick you know, the chance to stay stagnant. Great job with the drop zone there, and that might be it. Oh, he didn't need to do Yo, that. No, he gave him the homie stock out of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, you got to love it. Let's see if it comes back to bite Venia. You'd hate to see it if it did. Oh, no, yeah. That, that would be very grim. But, uh... I don't know, man. This is a pretty uh, uncertain situation. Really, Nick is on borrowed time. I feel like he understands that, too. Wow. But. Couple of ankle checks and Venia takes the game that was rightfully his 30 seconds ago. Yeah, for sure. And again, after another explosive start from Nick, even despite the fact Venia playing with his food a little bit, uh, able to uh, clutch out that game in dominating fashion. Like he is, again, when Ven Venia's movement is what separates him from a lot of other players that I watch. You're seeing it showcased here where he's just so good at staying loose with his movement, 
never wanted to sit in shield. Like, Venia's shield button is like, the, the trigger is probably still like brand new grease. <laughs> like, I'm sure he like has barely used them. He'll like use this as shield more as bait. Like, he'll shield, he'll know exactly like what he's able to get away with out of it. Or just force someone to approach in so he can counter the fence. Like, you'll have to see it, but of course it is that movement that really puts him this far on the map. Let's see how well he can execute it here on Stadium 2 while he sits up a game on Nick. Ooh, nice tech, though. That could have been disastrous for him, but again, turning the tables immediately. Nick forces, uh, once again, to recover above the ledge to, you know, Hydro Pump being such a, a factor in this matchup, you know, something that he, Nick is forced to respect because Falcon's recovery is so linear. And Nick has to be a little bit selective on the ledge. He can't go... He can't rampage on his opponent like he's known for. <laughs> but heavy callouts in the air like that are just... You, you'll love to see it. Hey, that dash attack will go punish on shield. A good landing back here once again from Benny. Getting great mileage out of that move. And the up smash will be the uh, the ender for that stock. So Benny will find himself up in this uh, potentially clinching game of winter semis. Oh, nothing out of jam too. Okay. Who gets a drag down? Does not get the initial jab, but still gets the rapid jab out of it. And because Nick was on the ledge, he would get a little bit more uh, juice out of that than he uh, normally would. Every little bit counts in this side. Look at that. Nick already taking back the stock. Only 41 builds up onto him. See how Venia could try to surmount his lead further here. Venia get back in there for Nick. And now he gets his turn to play. But Venia down airing uh, out of the combo opportunity right there. Buying him a little bit more time. I actually really like that option from Venia too because it helped with like Nick, like thinning out his hurt box of sorts. Just because like Greninja stands at attention when he down airs, and you wouldn't think he's as tall as he actually is because of how stout he sends in Smash, but that's a tall lad. Ooh. Yep. Right, that, a little bit shorter now. Yeah, nope, that re-grab will get punished ten times out of ten. Uh, so great reversal of fortune right there uh, for Nick. He had himself in position for the back air, just wasn't fast enough. There you go, once again, the down air low percent, the salsa kick! Almost coming through and uh, spelling disaster for Venia. Oh, oh, wow! He used sour forward air as a combo piece. Nick's so good, man. <laughs> like, there's no other way to say it. See Venia trying to get creative with these uh, combos on shield. Where are we going? Where are we moving? Because right now Venia has not had a proper place to land, despite having the percentage lead in game. <laughs> really don't like seeing it and like that, even though it's comedy gold. <laughs> You oh, <laughs> you see Nick laughing about it. Vinny is simply like, "Nah, man, that's, uh, that's not what I wanted." <laughs> it wasn't supposed to end this way. <laughs> Please, no ha ha's. <laughs> no ha ha react. Do you think I'm funny? <laughs> what am I, a clown? <laughs> <laughs> we like to have fun here. <laughs> that's the excuse I'm gonna roll with. All right, All right, so Final Destination will be the uh, stage choice here. Bring it on home. Yeah, and a game five set between these two. Honestly, I I feel my heart warmed by the fact that the first game of our top eight is a best of five, and I couldn't have asked for two better players to present it. Because this oh, yeah. whole tournament is a celebration of the, the talents and the personality of New York and New Jersey. And I feel like no two players really exhibit that type of pride and power better than Benia and Nick. And, oh yeah, for sure. Nick C getting a, uh, having to navigate a minefield to get back to the stage right there. Very few people can say that they've gotten out of, like, Venia's fun house of edge guards. But Nick managed to do it. Yeah, so now Venia on the back foot right now. And he's been in, has such firm control over the last couple of games. You know, let's see if he's going to be able to rebound. Given how this set has gone like fully off the rails from the first 10 seconds, I wouldn't expect any less than to see Benny completely take the momentum into his favor with a few good hits. But Nick opting to run a little bit more than we've seen throughout this set. I wouldn't quite say it's passive play, but the fact that he is giving Benny a little bit of that breathing room and forcing Benny to approach a little bit does change the speed. Ooh, there we go. The down tilt to the forward air will clean up that stock. 47%? Not something that Venia can't make up with another one of those you know, early percent Greninja combos. Ooh, but <laughs> his knee is just there forever, oh, man. 
the bronze kneecap is here and ready to play for sure. Like, whatever it is, Nick has just kind of turned it on to all the way up to 11. Oh, God, again. All right. This might be the most I've seen off Smash come out of Nyx's Captain Falcon in forever, but every time, it is a sight to behold. And so, Venia down a whole two stocks right now. You know, let's see if he's going to be able uh, to bring this back, or if Nick will punch his ticket into winner's finals here. Venia is the type of player where you put him in a high pressure situation like this, he is not one to crumble. So. I'm curious to see what Venia does to get himself out of this situation, but he can't really afford to take too much percentage, because every little hit that Falcon gets, gets him closer to some sort of ridiculous combo. Yeah, no, absolutely. Venia definitely has to be cautious of the falling knee into the up air, or the forward air at this point. And now as, uh, you know, Nick continues with every hit, you know, Venia's uh, winner's bracket chances uh, slip farther and farther away. Max distance down, so not able to really check any of these offenses. And yeah, finally getting his connection and 86% built. It's not a pretty number, but hopefully it's just enough for Venny to be able to squeak Ooh. out this win. Okay, got to be careful as he sets himself up off stage. Mortar Shuriken's not protecting him for too long. Ooh, okay, once again, the Falcon Dive out of shield is going to provide a great get off me option. Both players jumping parallel to each other. Which really, their one from Nick is so smart. Uh oh, here comes the, the fun. Drag down up from Greninja. Back air hitting from the front of Nick. It might be just enough trying to get his stomp. Mayor 2 is just enough to do it. And a little bit of a pop off from Nick as he sets himself up into winner's finals. You gotta love it, man. As the, as the gyrating uh, Captain Falcon victory screen, you know, I'm assuming it's because someone attached a car battery to his nipples. He's um, vibrating. So. He's very, yeah, he's, he's, he's energized. Yeah,